Hey everybody, you see how we're doing? We're coming back to back today for uh, right at you, back to back. Three shows today. Three shows today. We usually are on, uh, as you know, one o'clock and two o'clock Sunday. Uh, one o'clock and two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But today I, I, I had to, to, to add this show today because of the guest that we have, Skinny G Radio. This is a story that I want to, uh, to the journey of artistry that I said, I, I, you know, and I was so happy that his schedule would allow him to be able to come on and add this show today. I see y'all coming in. Something in common. What's up, fam? Hope all is well with you, too. Hope all is well. Much love, much respect. Patricia Winnett, thank you for joining again, Patricia. Truly appreciate you. Uh, and you know, everybody, like, like I always say, I thank you for coming on live when you can uh, today. But our, our major, uh, the audience, the number is for the, the people who, who watch. And I want to thank you for, for those of you who come to, and watching this now on the IGTV channel, uh, the recorded episode. Uh, you know, the, 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 the feedback that we've been getting has been so positive and overwhelming. Our independent family is now well over 800. We're knocking on 900's door and, uh, and it's growing around the world, you know? So, and every time and just indie fam, just know this, whenever we finish an episode, I have a list, a worldwide list of, uh, of, 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 promoters, record labels, uh, 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 artist uh, 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 curators, if it's, you know, visual art, whatever, that um, I'm be I've been able to compile uh, and others have reached out to me. In I've shared these episodes with uh, inquiring minds of different artists uh, uh, that uh, that we can you know get the message out. We can keep the communication going. We can keep that support going of the artistry. So I thank you once again for those of you who can join live. Um, but this recorded episode, each each episode that we have, it doesn't stop at the live. It's, it's held there at IGTV, the Victor Brooks Show channel, but then Victor Brooks and my team, we send out at least on a weekly basis, we send out at least 50 to 60 uh, shares of uh, directly to people. We're taking this social media thing on the positiveness that we can have, you know? Um, social media, just like life, has a negative, has the positive, but it depends on the one that we feed. And here at the Victor Brooks Show Indie Fam series here on Instagram, we're picking a positive. You dig? And uh, and it's about support. It's about letting others know what this artist is doing, how this artist is uh, is touching the world through their creative artistry. So today, like I mentioned, we have a gentleman that I've wanted to get on here and preserve in an episode form. Uh, Skinny G Radio is coming to us live out of Los Angeles, California today. And uh, I love the uniqueness of Skinny G. I love the originality of Skinny G. And I'm sure you will too. Uh, and I, when we, I can't wait to start talking of, of this gentleman's journey. Let me see if Skinny's here. If you're here, oh, right there. So I'm going to try and which I'm learning how to do. And um, hopefully I've done it correctly. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. What's happening, Skinny G Radio? Victor Brooks, it's good to talk to you, man. Hey. You too, you too, my brother. Man, first of all, thank you for allowing that your schedule has allowed so we can add yeah, this show today, man. Yeah, this of course. I'm, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for this show and what you do, the positivity you bring to this show. And what it does for other artists, like, we need more people like you, truly. So, like, I, I love it. I'm happy to be here. Appreciate you. Yeah, Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, Skinny. So, uh, if you see anybody that you, that are, that's lining up, like I said, most of our major audience comes on the recording afterwards. But right. uh, if you see anybody that pops up, man, give a shout out to him, brother. But of I course. cannot wait to get into your story. I was scrolling through. And I remember seeing, I said, 
is this a DJ? Is this a, a, a what is this entertainment that's pulling me in like this? And yeah. the more I got into and I and I, hey everybody, indie fam, you know what I say. If you're scrolling through and you see something that pulls you, go to that page, explore that page, find yeah. out, go through and feel, you know. But man, it pulled me in, Skinny. Where did your journey begin? Where are you from? What's happening? Uh, I'm from Central Connecticut, East Coaster. Uh, okay. Just like you, so still getting used to the time zone out here. Took a little bit. Uh, I don't miss the cold either. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it, those winters, man, I don't miss the shoveling. Yeah. Um, so I started in Connecticut. I was co-writing music with good friends. I I never had any confidence in my voice, so I learned how to write and produce before um, going center stage for anything. Uh, did a lot of ghostwriting for people. Um, started producing. The, the song on my own, writing it on my own, but then finding a singer to do it for me. Uh, and I, I loved that road for a while. I just, it, I enjoyed it. It was fun to see it come to life. Uh, I learned how to collaborate and work with other people, which is great. Um, and I moved out here. I got an opportunity to do like a, an apprenticeship in a studio. And um, okay. I've learned a, a lot. I mean, just it was taking class truly. So it was um, it was class without the school, and it was great. I um, worked on my voice and just tried to see if I could make a project on my own, do the writing, producing, front center stage, the whole nine yards. So, yeah, that's the quick version. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. You know what, man? See, that's the thing that I respect about the independent artist, Kenny G, is yeah. that. We're soldiers, man. We are soldiers, the independent artists. Everything you just mentioned now, man, you it was a it was a hit the ground running. You started learning things on your own, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. And you know, it was certainly a grind. And I never would have thought at the end of it that I would make something on my own that I would be singing on and being a part of. But I yeah. I'm very excited. I mean, I, I have exceeded my own expectations for what mm -hmm. I thought I was capable of making. So I'm excited. Truly, it's uh, it seems like the the right path at, when it's all said and done. Yeah. So yeah. good stuff. Break down your artistry, brother. What is? How would you describe your artistry? Um, I think the sound of it is probably pop. Um, earnest is probably another word for it. I mean, I along with the album, I have uh, directed and shot a short film which is wow. kind of supposed to tackle making the project and sort okay. of uh, the, the more honest look at what making a project by yourself is. You know, I don't mm -hmm. want the, the, the songs don't sound sad or anything like that, but I, mm -hmm. there, I, I wanted to make a more honest version of what it's like to make something that nobody's asking you to make, right? Like nobody's here, nobody was sitting praying for the next skinny g radio installment like that wasn't <laughs> coming you know so i got you, I, you, I got to you. keep your own momentum going and mm -hmm. sort of work through that is yeah. uh really i think an honest story that needed to be told and mm -hmm. i hope that that's sort of what the the short film does uh but the you know the sound itself i want it to be a beat more times than not i really like something catchy i try to sort of go for uh an earworm when i can Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's the chase is, is the, the catchiness chase. of it. Yeah. You know, and one thing I respect about what you're telling us now, man, is that <clears throat> you're not afraid to explore your artist realm. We're talking sure. filmmaker, yeah. we're talking music, you know, uh, production, right? Directing, yeah. you yeah. know, what, what have you always been? Because I'm speaking myself, a lot of us artists, we can be our own worst critic. We can be our own biggest self-doubter but for, for sure. you man it seems like you you know have you always been open to a a skyless attempt of your artistry i i think so i started in tech when i was doing like theater in high school and a little bit of college and stuff i was always doing tech work so i think when i look at an endeavor of maybe making a, a movie or an album or something i always think of the tech stuff first and i go well if i can do that I might be able to do the, the center stage stuff after that. That's usually the, the, the secondary thing for me. So it's like, well, if I have the ability to make the thing on a technical level, well, then I hopefully can pull the artistry with it. So uh, that's sort of where the ambition comes from. And I think really for other people out there, just tell yourself you can, you know, I, that's really all it is. You know, you meet people, even if they're 
just in music, you know, and they look at what it takes to make maybe a short film or something. And they go, well, that that's for those people. Like I couldn't do that. And I think really at the end of the day, just, I like looking at something and go, I, I, well, I could do that. At least I'd like to give it a shot, you know? Yes. Yeah. Oh man, come on, man! You, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. But you were feeding me right there, brother, as you are. <laughs> and I was, I'm right with you, just as I know so many artists who are watching and will watch this yeah. can understand that, man. You For know, sure. no, they can understand that. For sure. Do you remember yeah. writing your first song when you said yeah. when you completed it and said, "I just finished my first song"? I do, I do. I remember uh, being surprised that the words were my own. Like it, it was weird that I could sing along to it, and I was like, oh, th "This is, th they're just my own story." I I do remember it. It's very simple song, just a couple chords on a guitar. But I, yeah, totally. It was uh, yeah. right after a heartbreak, and if that ain't a time to write a song, I mean, that's usually <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Come out. Yeah, that's right. Well, see, you know, that's a great point you just mentioned, man, because. You mentioned right after a heartbreak, wrote a great song, but the life experience through artistry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how do you see that correlation even being important in your works, in your turn? I think that first song, I think, represents a lot for what my music sort of became. I think a lot of my songs start from something that I'm struggling with internally, but the song okay. doesn't sound sad at the end mm -hmm. of it. I mm -hmm. sort of the the song begins with the struggle and sort of hopefully ends with me coming out of it and i don't even mean lyrically it just means by the time the song is done i've sort of finished that struggle you know what i mean so i like the idea of the song sort of um helping me in a way that's also you know i i like the song to be upbeat but if it's about a struggle i need to make sure i can hear it in an upbeat way you, you know what i mean so it's sort of a uh, it's therapy in a weird way, you know what I mean? It's, uh, gotcha. Yeah, you got it. It's easy to to just get it out, uh, even if no one's gonna. You know, there are songs I made no one's gonna hear, but that wasn't the point at the time. To Come on, really just to get it out. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I mean, man, you're hitting it right there because I can remember. I'm a dinosaur, 56, but artistry and music has been my thing, right? Yeah. Most of that's that's my life thing. But yeah. I can remember. What you just said, man, is, is, is that doubt that we all can. And I know a lot of artists, sometimes I get the, the emails of different, you know, uh, and, and it's something that we have. Back to that thing about being our critic or whatever. But you found a way through your artistry to write through it medicinally. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. And I think that... Um at the end of the day, if none of this worked out, it's like I, I found my thing to like Come help on, me man. be a mentally right. healthy person. And what's wrong with, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. So, That's right. Yeah. That's right. So it's all good. And it's, I, it's exciting to, to work through it. And like you said, with, with the doubt and stuff, that's exactly like what the short film tackles. You know, the album really? itself doesn't sound doubtful. If you're going to hear, if you hear the album, I don't sound like I'm doubting myself in the slightest, but the okay. film will tackle how I made it and how I doubted myself along the way. And I think the balance of those two things is important because artists sort of do yes. that dance of like, I don't really care if anyone hears my stuff, but at the same time, like I need listeners. Like those, <laughs> like you can't be one without the other. So that's right. that that's back right. and forth, I, it, that's yeah. funny to me. Like the, it, it yeah. makes me laugh when artists are like, I don't care, but at the same time, they're like, I need you. Like yeah. I, I love that yeah. dance that we all have to do. So, I'll, you know, I, I tackled that a lot along the way. You have a realness in your artistry and definitely in your stage presentation because it's it's Thank very you. physical. You're back and forth and I see you, you know, you're moving the whole thing. But even that's why I love this format. I said, we scroll through and we can hear the music, we can see the clips, but I want the people to know this person as best we can in this time yeah. frame to be yeah. able to hear what inspired what pulls us to their page you know what inspires yeah. the music we download what have you and so hearing you man there's a there's a there's a there's a a very artistic uh boldness that thank you, you have thank you and how would you where did that come from is that something innate in you is that something that just happened or what i don't know i think 
I'm glad you see it that way. Usually the first sentence that comes out of my mouth is, am I out of my mind? So I like that, <laughs> like that's the first way okay, it comes out, okay. you know? And, but that, that's also exciting to me when you come up with an idea like a short film or something like that and you go, yeah. oh, am I out of my mind for even thinking that this could be possible? Mm -hmm. And that, that, you have to take that and run with it with excitement, not like, oh no, I'm a crazy yeah. person. So I, yeah. I think that's where I go. I, I run a little bit towards discomfort I think discomfort is good. You need that to grow. Yes. And that, um, that feeling of, oh, am I crazy for trying this should be turned into, no, 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 that you're, you're growing at the very least for feeling uh, out of comfort for even trying it. So uh, I think probably that's where it comes from. I don't, that part, I don't know if it's healthy, but it hasn't hurt me yet. So Come we on. will see. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love the way you put that, man. I love the way you put that. <laughs> yeah, you got to, you know. So, you know, I'm, I'm okay so far. So far, so good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. You got to say. Got you, bro. You got to say. Got you. Yeah. You know, when you, and ladies and gentlemen, Indy fam, and those of y'all watching now, first of all, and you know, I'm going to say it each episode, I always say this, Indy fam, y'all know, go to Skinny G Radio page. If you're not already following, go to his page and follow, and you'll see what I'm, what I'm saying right now. Not only see it, you'll feel what I'm talking about. When you're on stage, man, please break down the energy that you create on stage. Uh, I think I practiced so long without cameras and without anyone watching or caring mm -hmm. and dancing around my bedroom and whatever yeah. that at this point, by the time I'm up there, if cameras are on, I, I think it's easy for me to just put the walls up and okay. dance around like a banshee to a song that I'm making. Like, I think it's easy to, um, it's not, it's not easy, but I think uh, I've just gotten so used to closing stuff out when I need a couple minutes to just uh, let the, let the, this is going to sound super corny, but it's very true. You just kind of got the let, a, let the music come out of you. Like right really, on. like that's right really on. what it is. And that may result in me uh, dancing around and looking like a crazy person, but I think you, you got to let it come out of you. You really do because um, it's, you know, again, and I have to remind myself before every, not before every take, but before I start shooting something that, you know, I worked here to get to here. I'm I'm here. I'm at the place. So give it, give it everything. Like just dance around, let the people comment, and that's it. That's all you gotta do, you know. So I think energy is good. I think the type of sound that I have bring allows there to be an on stage energy, um, and so I just want to bring that out as best I can. I I'm a sucker to dance. Like I just kind of like to dance. So. <laughs> I hope okay. that watching me dance on a little stage would make someone feel like they'd want to do the same. That's great. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. What equipment do you use? You have a, you have a setup, man. What do you use on stage? Uh, <laughs> I got a, a, a full 88 key keyboard. Um, it's plugged in. Uh, the, no MIDI involved in that. I, I use a little drum machine that I can loop all my stuff. Um, okay. I'm a big fan of drums. Like I wish I could play drums. It's one of those things that I can't get my legs and my hands to do the same thing. Okay. Such a okay. I'm just not, I don't right. know why my legs, right. I'm fine with hand instruments. Fine. But once my okay. legs have to get involved, it's not going to happen. It's a great play. Um, so I use the drum machine as, as a way to like sample my own sounds. I'll make sounds into a microphone, pitch them around, mm -hmm. throw them on the drum mm -hmm. machine. I think if you can use your own sound samples as a, there's such an industry for buying samples now that right. I think if you can use your own, if you can to learn how to make your own, it will exactly. at least make, it'll make your music sound a little more like your own. No, no one else has your samples. You know what I mean? So I always uh, wanted to make sure that if I could make this be as original and my own sound as possible, using my own samples might be a way. Uh, and I'll loop them all on there to sort of just make a, a build through a loop. Um, yeah. And that's sort of been a fun way to, to rehearse. I, I make a lot, of, a lot of first drafts of songs kind of start that way, just messing mm -hmm. around and sort of building a, a, a loop out of something. And then I try to write something on top of that loop. Um, 
so it's fun. I think that's a good way for people to see sort of my my process and how it gets me excited. Like it just nothing gets me more excited than a loop out of nowhere that I that I was just feeling in the time. And when it happens, it just I start to dance around. And it came to a point where a good friend of mine told me you, you should capture those moments on screen because friends of mine would see me do that in like a bedroom yeah. studio or a studio come yeah. up with something and just get all jazzed. And they were right. like, this, this is a marketable thing for people to yeah. see you do that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think that's, it's, I, I get jazzed by my, by my own thing. Sometimes mm -hmm. I can't, that sounds real cheesy, but it's true. No, man, come on. I got you. Hey, yeah. man, let me tell you something. See, that's why I knew I, that's, see, that's what I, we would have never known that energy that we see in the clips. Now we know why it looks so real because it is so real. Yeah. It's what you just said to, you know, then that then your yeah. buddy who told you, man, you need to capture that brilliant yeah. because that's what pulled me, man. That's what pulled right. me, you know, and that's why I did that promo clip <clears throat> of the of the drum beat that you that you made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, man, this is real. First of all, it's funky as hell, but then <laughs> this is real. Okay, so yeah. So, like, <laughs> yeah. And it was, so was that a spirit of moment thing? Hey, y'all, look Absolutely. on my feed when you can, Indie Fam. And if you haven't seen the promo, check out the promo of Skinny G Radio on my feed of you doing the drum beat man yeah yeah no it was just a day that i set up the cameras and just wanted to see what i could come up with and there's a lot of days where it isn't anything but i think it's uh you got to i'm a fan of setting up the camera even if you don't know if something is going to come out of that day because then if something does it's the most organic footage you're going to get um yeah. here's one thing i'm not i'm not an actor so okay. i can't fake uh the like i can't remake the moment I'm not good at that. I've tried it and it's not organic at all. And so I I want to at least capture a real one. So, uh, and a lot of the short film is that too. It's me keeping the camera on from the entirety of this process. It starts when I'm like 23, I'm 27 now. So um, it's a, you know, it's basically just keeping the camera on through the moments of excitement, like just like you see in that video, yeah. while with doubt at the same time and just going back and forth because that really is the road. I think that's an honest depiction of what the road is of yeah. trying to make something on your own and yeah. getting it done at the other side. You know, I think mm -hmm. why I, what I'm hoping this film becomes is watching the roller coaster of being making an independent thing kind of for yourself right it wasn't okay. for anyone in the moment it, mm -hmm. i was doing this to see what i was capable of and there's ups and downs along the way and you sort of okay. watch someone come out on the other side of it and so i i, I think that's just an earnest thing because i think we see a lot of like specifically independent artists probably around my level of trying to only show the ups not the yeah. hiding the right. down put the right. downs down and make right. sure all the posts are pristine and right. all of the, the you're, you're only showing the highs not the lows and i think yeah, the lows you know. are equally as important they're equally yeah. as real that's you right. know that's so, right um i i just think that could be a very relatable message to other uh independent artists out there along the way Ooh. yeah Re another way brother a amen right on i co-sign 100 percent Everything you just said, man, because that's uh, <clears throat> you, you got to be who you are. Nobody can give yours but you. Nobody can give yours but you. And, sure. you know, Absolutely. and that's your thing. You know, what do, what do you say to to the haters, man? Because we just brought the negative. We brought because you mentioned a very <laughs> good point. You said. You know, it's not about all the pristine and the, and the, and the, and the, and the you know, the positiveness. There's some negativity yeah. in the game. For sure. And haters are being negative to they an are. extent. They're out so there. They are they're out there. there. I, I think <laughs> um, if you are spending the time online to hate on my, on whatever I'm doing, you, you need something better to do. I mean, there's, there's plenty of stuff online to hate and have like a lot of reasons to hate that thing. I don't think I'm one of them. If you have found something in me to hate, I'm, I'm sorry, but it certainly won't make me sleep less at night i don't <laughs> if you if you post my thing and say i don't like this guy repost yeah. it and say i don't like this guy that's more eyeballs for me i don't care you what go. your opinion of me is you just go. keep pushing it out there you know you so uh, let them let them do it the problem is there's too 
the internet is an unavoidable way to spread your art and haters are unavoidably on the internet. So they're sort of one with the other and you just sort of have to learn to t swim by. And it's tough, it is. I mean, I, I, I say that as if it like doesn't affect, I mean, I, it's hard. Most people I feel like can read 25 good comments and that one bad one is one that sticks to you that day. And it's weird. It's weird. It doesn't feel right. You know, that you, sh it doesn't seem fair that you read all these good jobs and then you get this one and that's the one that you're like sitting on. But I think artists are, uh, we're, we're, uh, sensitive. We don't like that. I think it's, it's attacking the thing that you've gotten proud of and that you worked hard to get to. So we have the, those little buttons, regardless of whether we can lie and say they're not pushed. They'll they'll get pushed. You just have to wake up the next morning and sort of put leave that and yesterday essentially, and sort of uh, just let them talk, man. At least they're talking. That's sort of been my that's sort of been my take. As long as, long as they're talking. What's the worst thing that could happen, you know? Come on, man. Come on. That's it. As long as they're talking. You know, and then as long yeah. as it's okay, we're talking about you. So hey. Yeah. That's let what them, it's let about. Them debate. Let them debate. Let them like, debate. You know, <laughs> some of the most popular posts on social media now is like a hundred comments of people arguing whether they're talented or not. And it's like fine. Who cares? Let them argue. Right, right, but at least right. they're talking. At least they're know? talking. That's so, right, man. I think as an artist, especially Honestly, it doesn't matter your your age. The internet is just a place where you're going to have to put your stuff out if you want the mo the chance for most amount of people to see it. And you just sort of have to be prepared for that to to sort of yeah. come your way. And, you know, I, I sort of took the first few moments that I was getting like hater comments was like, oh, I, I, my stuff is actually getting to places. This was a sign that my stuff was leaving the little bubble of the internet that I was in. I actually took it as like a growing, it's growing pains. That's a word. Like, it's growing, growing pains. pains. I, I got know, you. As, as yeah. you leave your own little bubble of people that support you, you're going to enter other worlds that people just, not everyone's got to like your stuff. You just kind of have to let That's them right. experience it. There's That's plenty right. of people out there that can and will. So yeah. just do yeah. that. Just you do know, that. Find those, find those people. They they find won't people. they won't give you crap along the way. So come on, man. And what they call yeah. that? That's your dedicated, your dedicated followers, or what have yeah. you. You know. Okay. What what is, what what's in store for? But first of all, where did the name Skinny G Radio? How did that come? Because a lot of people are asking me that. You know. Yeah, that's fair. I um, well, th growing up and like in high school. I was incredibly thin, like noticeably skinny. I think I looked like the personification of a Tootsie Roll lollipop. I mean, it was my head <laughs> and then just by, it was so it was crazy. So uh -huh. I, that the name Skinny G just came from uh, like friends along the way. It was just something that kind of, I was incredibly skinny. My name is Jeff, but it begins with a G. So that's okay. always been something that has stuck out. Okay. Right. Um, so that sort of, started along the way and then in college i had a radio show uh and i did not know what to call it and i just sort of stuck with skinny g radio i liked that okay. it just seemed like a silly name to me i had no idea the life it would take on but the the confidence that i at the time was faking on that radio show so it sort of formed into the character that became skinny g radio now because i was so um I was just faking the confidence. I was on the radio, okay. I would just sit down, and I would just, you know, pretend to be my own little radio DJ. And it was fun, gotcha, but gotcha. I wasn't that confident of a person in real okay. life. And I think I took that character that I created yeah. and put it into my music when I would songwrite uh, later on. Okay. So, yeah, kind of came from there. I did radio for a while. I loved it. Radio was fun. You know, I yeah. kind of miss it. It was yeah. just a fun little thing to do. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, it's so... I I... From there, my first idea to do an album was, my first album is called Skinny G Radio, like the title. And it was because I I wrote the whole thing, I produced the whole thing, play every instrument, wrote it. Right on, man. Every song is a different singer. So I wanted to, when you listen to it, sound like a radio station because each song, the the, the vocalist would change. But since it was all written and produced by one person, it sort of, it still had a sound. 
Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. so I tried, I wanted to see if I could create like a, um, my own original 30 minute radio show, right. essentially, right. you know, and, right. Right. Um, <clears throat> it definitely got my stuff off the ground. It allowed me to work with some incredibly talented people. Um, people that are still doing music today. Um, mm -hmm. I did a lot, shout out Lindsay Samavolos. I did a lot of songs with her. She's an incredibly talented vocalist wow. out, out of Chicago now. Uh, Trey okay. Frazier, another talented vocalist. He is now wow. out here in Los Angeles uh, doing Hamilton. Uh, incre wow. Incredible talent. Yeah, so I, I got very fortunate, all from Connecticut. Like I knew them there. Yeah. Uh, and so I got a chance to, to work, collaborate, learn some, some give and take writing with people. And Big, I, I grew a lot in that album for sure. And it sort of set me up uh, for, for this one. Hopefully, we'll see. Congratulations, man. That's Thank out of sight. Out Thank of sight. And then moved into film. So you're film director as well, right? Yeah. Well, I said, so, yeah. I, I, before I did music, I thought I was going to do film stuff. I um, always loved lighting specifically. That was sort okay. of my door into visual okay. arts. Uh, did some little like film programs out on the East Coast, one up in Boston. And I just liked visual arts, again, all behind doing tech work. I was never in front of the camera, anything like that. And I just sort of stuck with it. I Anytime, even when I got into music, um, my buddy and I, we, we would always make these making ofs just to sort of show people that we were making these songs like from scratch. Okay. Just to, yeah. Um, Cause it's just That's so cool. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Especially in the world yeah. of how you can just like buy loops now yeah. and like yeah. you can just buy pre-made beats and that there's a huge industry for it. So I'm not knocking anyone who, who does that. Yeah. And, yeah, who, who am I to say? Yeah. So, but we just wanted to, we wanted to, we felt like it was important to be honest that we were starting from um, punching a desk and having that be our kick drum sort of thing. So we yeah. wanted a, uh, just to show the whole process. Right. And from, it sort of kept uh, my filmmaking skills. Um, it, it just kept a little oil on the gears a little bit. And I, when I came out here, I wanted to, I wanted to make a short film. I didn't think I'd be doing it all on my own. That was sort of a COVID mm -hmm. thing. It was mm -hmm. hard to get a, mm -hmm. a film going with a group of people, especially when quarantine was bad. So the majority mm -hmm. of this short film ended up being literally me setting up the camera and then walking in front of it to be the actor and as well as the uh, shoot. So I, at the end of the short film, I will have been the director, uh, cinematographer and actor, which is weird. I did not think that was ever going to be the thing, but um, exciting nonetheless. So uh, it, uh, I, I liked directing. I've always liked okay. the idea of directing something. Um, I don't know. I, I like I said and how we talked earlier, I'm open to the idea of doing other yes. things outside of, of an album. I yeah. would love to maybe have my next project be visual, but score score yeah. it oh, okay. music for the visuals of it. Okay. You know, sort of do the album but backwards, start with the visuals and score the I, I don't know. I um I I need to stay excited. And the idea of gotcha. just finishing an album and opening a new notebook and going page one, song one, like that doesn't excite me yet to just gotcha. immediately start over. Gotcha. So we'll see. I don't know. I, but I need to stay. Um, I need to, things that make me feel ambitious, keep me excited. And that, uh, that sort of thing is starting to make me feel a little ambitious. I don't know. There you go, man. In other words, that creativity is just, it, it's it, it's ignited, but you 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 have to keep on keeping on. It's For like sure. you know I've got to change. And discomfort, and discomfort. Yeah. you know, like I, I I like the things that make me go. Oh, I don't know if I can do that, but I yeah. was, I, I think I could. I, and I think I could. I think the best creativity comes from walking that tightrope of going. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm so <laughs> not sure if I can, right. but I'm good. Right. I, I think, like, I, right. to me, that very <laughs> narrow balance. Uh, personally, my best work has come out of being caught right uh, walking that tightrope. So, That's right. yeah, yeah I, uh, I like I said, there's still plenty of time. We'll see, but mm -hmm. yeah, can I, we can we impose on Skinny G Rated? Do you have anything you could do for us impromptu? Oh, impromptu. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or 
or even if you have something there in the studio over the speakers, I don't know, whatever. <clears throat> Let's see. I don't know if this is going to work through my uh, AirPods. We're going to find out. Can okay. You... <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Indy fam, follow Skinny D Radio's page. Download, follow, keep, you know, keep, keep yourself posted. Can you hear this? Yep. You can hear Yep. Right on, brother. right on, brother. Right on, man. Hey. Right on. <laughs> yes, man. Skinny G Radio, man. It has been a pleasure to meet you, man, to hear your journey. You know, you've definitely inspired me. I know the other artists who are watching now and those who will watch yeah. can identify, man. I mean, we, that's why I wanted to do this format, a place where artists, we can come together, speak the same language. No, understand you, you, the same fears you know you're doing the lord's work out here the fact that you're offering this sort of platform for for artists like me like true i i can't thank you enough this is a great right. thing you're doing when i thank when you. you hit me up and i started to look through your stuff i was like oh man we need more stuff like this on the internet we truly do so i'm happy i'm happy you found me like i'm glad i get to do this um yeah. truly like you're a good guy i love your energy i was watching your stuff and when you were like coming to you live from the us of a i, I screamed i screamed because like people don't talk like that anymore and i'm such a fan of like those like old school radio disc jockey sort of thing like oh i love it man i love it gotcha. thank you man energy. thank you brother I really do. I really do. <laughs> Y'all, Skinny G Radio, please, y'all, follow it. Please let us know where can we download, you know, let us know how to support Skinny G Radio. Sure. <laughs> you can find all of my stuff at SkinnyGRadio.com. Um, I'm Skinny G Radio on all social platforms. Uh, so wherever you are, if you search that name, uh, you will probably find me. So, uh, yeah, Skinny G Radio. It's all pretty much one word. Uh, it, it is all one word on the platforms. Uh, and I had to stop telling people that it's skinny gradio. Everyone would always say, what, what's a gradio? And I'm like, gradio is not a word. I, I don't know right. to tell you, but yeah. So <laughs> skinny G radio for those who see the, and it's all one word. The G is stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on, man. Hey, Indy fam, you heard it. You heard it now live if you're here and then you'll hear it recorded after you hey. after the fact and those of us indie fam uh who had this opportunity right now to experience uh brother skinny g radio this is your new family member indie fam and i say that because it is a family out here y'all we understand the struggles of each other we understand the positivenesses is that a word positivenesses of each other we yeah. know what this artistic journey is about indie fam and i'm telling each and every one of y'all this is where we come together as much keep sending me your emails keep sending me uh, uh your links and 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 keep sending me you this is what we want to do we want to connect each other I, I i'm i'm following now indy fam two collaboratives that have happened because of this format our, our brother uh hasabi out of tokyo japan is now collaborating with our brother in grand rapids michigan See, mm. that's what it's about, Indie Fam. And those of you all who are watching and you felt something today in the words and the message of Skinny G Radio, hit them up, DM them, blow them up, however the words are nowadays that we say. Yeah. Who knows? I can't that. That's right. You hit know? me up, the lovers, the haters. Hit me up. It doesn't matter. Everybody. I'm welcome. <laughs> I'm welcome everyone. Look at this. People that say Skinny G Radio rocks. Uh, 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 you know, we're hitting, I'm hitting him up now. It's a, you know, that's what it's about. This that's is it. Absolutely. Yo. Absolutely. 
love it. Well, brother, it, keep us posted on when the, the film is coming out, where we can True. see it, where we can find the, it. There aren't uh, hard dates yet, but the album comes out in the spring, probably okay. late May, early June-ish, right. and okay. uh, the short film will be midsummer, probably. Good, good. Thank you, yeah. brother. Thank you. Much respect, Skinny G. Have yeah, a good one, man. Yeah, All right. Too, man. And you know, I'm bi-coastal. I live in L.A. and North Carolina. So when I get back to L.A., if you're doing something, man, I want to come. Oh, All right? absolutely. Yeah, It'd be no, great to do a wonderful. live, you know, hey, a live episode. I would love to do this live next time you're out here. I would love it, truly. You love got it, it brother. You got absolutely. it, man. Have hey, a good one, man. Take care, Victor. You too. <laughs> Bye-bye. Yeah. Hey, y'all, you felt it again. I know you did because I see the comments. Jay, uh, Jay, Jay Lucy says Skinny G Radio rocks. Oh, uh, sister, what's happening? Hell, LOL will definitely hit you up on Skinny Radio. Right on. Uh, paint the piano, paint piano perfect. Uh, purple. Her own episode just a, a, a last week, a couple of weeks ago inspiring the, the 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 information and the feelings that i've been getting from mikhail's uh episode thank you for taking your time when you joined us and y'all you heard skinny today you felt skinny g radio today and it spoke artist to artist we understand what he was talking about on the, on all sides of what it was and uh, i encourage you all to keep creating Keep delivering that artistry that we all need, that the world needs. It's who we are. We can't stop even if we wanted to. We're not supposed to. We are artists. We give what's here to the world in hopes to inspire, to show the truth, to shed some light. This is what we do. This is what we do. And I respect the artistry of each and every one of you all. Keep giving me your emails. Keep letting me know you're there. Keep letting me know that you're watching. And I'm going to keep bringing you these artists back to back every Sunday at 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern time in the U.S. Sometimes we may add a 3 o'clock show, but for the most part, 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock. And like I always say, hey. Come on back and get some of this positivity on you. Take a bath in it. Take a shower in it. Scuba dive in it. Skinny dip in it if you want to. But the main thing is jump in that pool of positivity. And when you jump out, sprinkle it on as many people as you can. Because that's what it's all about. I love you. And we'll see you next time on the Victor Brooks Show Indie Fam Series right here on Instagram. Keep on keeping on, y'all. Peace.